Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Hostfully Owners Portal. With the Hostfully Owners Portal, you can share a limited portal to each owner of just the reservations on their particular properties. You can also generate financial statements from them with just a touch of a button, and you can do other things like manage owner adjustments and allow them to be CC'd on each reservation. The amount of access you give them is totally up to you. Let's show you how to put an owner into the system. First, I'm going to kind of come into properties and find a property that doesn't have an owner already on the system. I'll go ahead and remove this owner so I can show you how to add a new owner. So if I want to add a new owner to this particular property, I came in here to properties. I came down to find the particular property. So you do need to add the owner to each property they belong to. They will only see a statement and a portal for the reservations on the properties that they belong to. So I'm going to come in here and click on owner. And I'm going to add the owner into the system. First, I'll add the owner name and the owner email. You don't need to add all of this additional information unless you want to, but you definitely need to add an email so that they can see their login and password when you send it to them. You do have a few options here on the right hand side. You can add an agency commission rate. The money doesn't actually go directly to the owner from Hostfully, but it does update your reports and the statements that you send them to show how much is owed to you and how much is owed to the owner. The agency is you in the system. So if you add 30% here, for example, the statements will consider the fact that 30% goes to you and the rest goes to the owner. You can either CC the owner on every reservation via email, and it will go to this email, or you can choose not to. You can choose to agency will collect and remit the rental tax. If you click this button, then when it calculates the 30%, it also calculates the tax will go to you, and then you'll pay that tax out to the appropriate agency. If you uncheck this box, then it calculates the amount of tax going to the owner in the statement, and the owner is considered to pay out the tax to the appropriate agency. You can choose to show the guest information to the owners or not. And you can choose to copy additional people on the owner statements or the owner emails. So sometimes people have two partners that own a property or a husband and wife that own a property, and they'll choose to put the second email here so both people will get an email when you copy them. Both people will not be able to log in. Only one owner login is applicable per property. We'll then go ahead and allow owner to block the dates for themselves or not and then we'll click and save the owner. This owner block dates is only for them to block out their own stays. It does not allow them to make reservations in the system. I'll save the owner. And if I go back here, I see that the owner is now on the property. If it was an owner that was already in the system, I wouldn't need to add them again, but I would need to put them on the property. So let's let that load. If it was an owner that was already in the system, I would just put their name in here, Lucy, Press return and it would bring up the appropriate owner and you could save. Now that I have this owner in the system, I have the option here to invite the owner to claim the property. If I click invite the owner to claim the property, they'll get an email here with a login and password. I also have the ability, now that the owner is in system, to put owner adjustments in here. If you need to make adjustments out of what the owner is owed, for instance, if you purchase new furniture for the property or steam cleaned it or something like that, you can manage an owner adjustment here. I would put the name of the adjustment, the date that it happened and the amount in here, and it will be an individual adjustment. We don't have the option to do reoccurring adjustments. You do need to put them in for each adjustment. I added notes here for the owner and I created it. Now I have this additional adjustment by property. If I want to generate statements, I can come in here and click reports on the right hand side and you'll see a report this will have all of the reservations and the owner adjustments. Right now it's showing me a full report for all owners from this period, 10-1 to 10-31, but I could drop down and show it just by a particular owner, test Lucy, test test, you see it changes. So I made a report for test Lucy, and then I'm gonna click generate statement. 
It now generates a statement with all the bookings. There's no bookings on this particular property, but they would be here for that time period, and the adjustments and the totals at the bottom. I would then share with the owner. If I click share with owner, this statement goes into their owner portal and they see it when they log into their Hostfully owner portal. If I click export as, I can save it as a PDF and send it to them or fax it to them, or I could send it as an Excel if I wanna change the amounts on the report. So that's everything about our current owner portal. If you have any questions at all, please chat help.hostfully.com or email them at support at with all of your questions.